Jalen Carter. For we have the we we have the graphic again one more time, yeah. right? Uh, for those that do not know, if you're just joining the show, an arrest warrant has been issued for Georgia defensive tackle potential number one pick, Jalen Carter, for reckless driving and racing stems from the January 15th crash that took the life of a teammate and a staffer. So my understanding, and guys, look, uh, I know we're in the journalism business and things like that. I'm not a legal expert. I do not pretend to be. Uh, this stuff is fluid. We find stuff out as it goes on. We have people that do that in in the audience and things like that. Robert Close is an audience member, you know, with a legal background and everything. Uh, his his note on this is: note they are all misdemeanors. So you're looking at better call Saul to get him a bullet. One year meaning he'll do six months. He'll fight all this, so that will drag out longer. And the key word in all this to me, Dmac, drag. <laughs> no <laughs> misdemeanors. Oh, misdemeanor. Yeah. Driving misdemeanor. Reckless drive. It sounds awful, right? It does. And, and my heart. No, it is awful. My we're heart not, breaks we're not for the talking families. about that, that somebody lost their life when we get yes. all this. It's a, the reality of where we're at now and what, what moving forward. Because this doesn't change. The Lions have the sixth pick. The Lions need interior defensive line help. These are all factual statements. And I'm not being obtuse. I'm not. Spencer right now is hitting the keyboard, and you know where we're going with this. Two misdemeanors. That seems to be the charge. Again, this is fluid. I'm not legal genius, okay? Right here, right now, you're comfortable drafting them at number six because DMAC, until until I get different information, I am. No, absolutely. I'm 100% How can you not? I, unbelievable. If we're going to sit here and talk about drafting, uh, no, what is it, the Indiana or the... Uh, Brandon Miller. Sorry, that Brandon Miller, the, the Alabama kid at three with, with different things going on. Yes, unfortunate situation. Misdemeanor is the key, but, uh, you know, the talent level and stuff like this. So, like I said, to me, he's still right there on my board. We're still pushing all those quarterbacks up front. So, if he falls, I mean, it's unfortunate, you know, and, and we'll see it all play out.